Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to add notes to your workflows so it makes it a bit easier to understand what you did when you come back and look at your work a few months down the line. Because trust me, we've all been there. We're like, what the freak a leak did we do here? We don't really know. We gotta re reverse engineer it and see what our brain was thinking back then. So, what you do, I don't know if you guys noticed hit the right click and you get this nice little box and within this box you can just add like your notes so what I'm gonna say here is if you guys have seen my other video I like to call this the polishing up the work and then really I polish it up because before or because I'm gonna output it to Tableau and I want it to be almost like a bit more complete when I get to that point you know I don't want to have to do much of like adding out aliases or like changing column names within Tableau I want the uh, that work to be done within NIME so Tableau is more so focused on the visualizations and and being able to see what the data shows but anyways this is how simple it is to add notes and To be able to just, sorry for the the long pause, I'm just trying to think of what to tell you guys honestly, but it's literally this simple. You just come in here, you add some notes over these, you can always hit this edit button to re-edit. Um, you can change like, obviously just like with text, change the font size, you want to center it, you could even change the color to make it a bit more attention grabby. Let's say this is like some next level, like I need to know, understand what's happening here in this phase. I put it in, in a bold red font, and if I really want to make it attention grabby, maybe I make it an even bigger font size, right? Let's go for 16. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong one. That is not the font size. That is the size of the border. Um, the What this is called is an annotation. I'm sorry it took me 20 minutes to get to that, but... Let's go, where's the, oh, here we go, font size. Let's make this not even a 16, let's go with 18. Let's go bigger, go home. There we go, polishing up the work. Nick, when you come back to this in X number of weeks or X number of months, you need to know this is big right here, right? So then we can add another one, show you how easy that it is. Simply right click wherever you wanna add doesn't really matter anyways because you can move it around right click sorry guys I'm moving a little too a little too fast maybe right click and you go down to this new workflow annotation click on that and it's that easy right so this time we're gonna say gonna move this up here right above and then let's say for example on this join of these tables, oh wrong, wrong thing. Let's say for these joins, I don't want to have to click into the joiner um, configuration to see what the join is based off. Let's say, oh, let me get rid of this. Let's say I just want this real, real quick hit right because I always, I always find that when I go back to my work, one thing I like to always ask myself is, wait, how did I join these two tables? What are they joined on? Um, so let's say here join join is based on employee ID All right so we'll change this we'll make this a size 12 join based on employee ID and then maybe I make this specific type of note I always make it like a purple color or I could even change the the uh, border color you know and make it pretty obvious that this type of note is for a particular type of situation. All right, so that's one way to go about changing your notes, right? So maybe a, one note is based on, a particular type of note, like I said, is based on this color and this type of text versus another one is this color. So it makes it even easier to see your notes, one from the other. Um, another way you can go ahead and do that is even within the node, if you look at like the subheading, you can click in here like we've seen in other videos and you can change the names of these subheaders and you can even um, change the font, 
the the uh, font size, the color. You can bold, align, right? But what I think is really cool is if you right click and you go to the background, or even if you go to the little bucket over here. I always right click, hit background, and then what I tend to do is I'll say like particular, um, right? Let's pick a color. We'll do that green. We'll hit OK. So maybe every time I do like a sum ifs or a type of um, conditional based aggregation, I always make that a a green subheader, right? Or in my actual work, right? In my nine to five, whenever I I create like a table, like let's say I want to output this this data not only to hyper to a hyper file, but let's say an actual table. Whenever I output to a table, I typically, what I end up doing is, I'll say what this is for, right? So we'll say HR data for, um, let's say, morale analysis, just making something up, right? So I wrote this table over here, and for every table, I what I typically end up doing, so right double click into the subheader, background color for every table that I write out I always make it like a particular color that pops but I keep it consistent right so here I've got it I've got it as um like a like a purplish like let's say I took just these percentages and I wanted to write them to a table so I don't care about all this sorting or whatever I want this just department percent of year and then morale analysis right I'll keep it consistent and that to me has has helped me because then I know what what particular things to look for and it when you end up getting into these workflows that are pretty extensive it, um, what what it helps me helps me with excuse me is understanding real quick just by looking at things all right I wrote something here I um I brought a file in here, right? So let's say for example, every time I bring a file in, yet the the nodes are colored orange, right? Whereas like these manipulation nodes are yellow. So you could say, "Hey Nick, like stop fucking wasting our time." <laughs> Sorry for my French. Stop wasting our time, but like the color of the nodes already help us, right? Well, sometimes what I would say to that is you could even change the color of the subheader to signify like, oh, this comes from a particular like data source, whereas this comes from another data source. And you keep it consistent. So then it makes it easy. It makes it easy, right? To be able to write just by a quick look, understand um, bits and pieces of your workflow before having to go in and like look at each step down the flow when you come back after having put this together call it x weeks or x months ago um, so just some food for thought for you guys um, some some things that I do to help me um, make notes and and kind of make my workflows easier to understand at just a glance a quick glance before getting into the details but anyways not to make this video drag anymore like always guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button and please share this with all your data friends I'm trying to make these videos um, as informative and I'm also trying to add in like my point of view from my nine to five and where I see things where I'm like oh yeah this might help my my viewers you know but anyways subscribe share this with your friends guys and um, like always I'll catch you on the next one